Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2017 Gold Rush Hall of Fame Autograph 8x10 Photos. This is a random pack break number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Guaranteed something. A random something. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. I'm going to open up the case, number, number the envelopes 1 through 12, then randomize your names, randomize the envelopes, match you up with something. We're going to break these in alphabetical order, but Hans, I'm going to skip you towards the end. We'll take care of Aaron, John, Bill, Jonathan, and Troy first, and then we'll do all of yours at once at the end. All right, so first things first. There it is. Opportunity to get some of those guys. This is a pretty cool break. All Hall of Famers. 8x10 photos. I may need a little help with this because Gold Rush did not put the names of some of these players on here. So some of them should be pretty obvious, I guess, to some of you. Maybe not to me. So I may need your, I may need your help. Obviously, if you're uh, watching the replay of this, you should have fast-forwarded past this part by now. That's 9, 10, 11, and 12. All right, so there you go. Let's flip screens here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each of those lists, 4 and a 1, 5 times for each list. 1, 2, Three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five times, we got Hans down to Hans. Four and a one, five times for the numbers. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five times, we've got seven down to three. All right, so Hans with seven, John with six, Hans with 12, Jonathan McClay with nine, Hans with 10 and one, Aaron with four, Bill with eight, Troy with five, Hans with two, 11 and three. So let's order these alphabetically. All right, so we'll do Aaron, Bill, then we'll go John McCall, Jonathan McClay, and then Troy, and then Hans will do all of yours at the end. So Aaron, you are up first. That's Trendsetter with number four. All right. PSA DNA looks like football right here. It's oh, I can read that autograph. That's John Mackey. John Mackey. What is John? Let's let's. I'm not familiar with John Mackey. Old blue horseshoe. Hall of Famer, obviously. No, not John Mackey, the businessman who co-founded uh, Whole Foods. We want the football player. Unless he's the same guy. No, they're different guys. All right, tight end for the Baltimore Colts and the San Diego Chargers. There you go. Hall of Famer, Super Bowl champion in 1968, five-time Pro Bowler, 1960s All-Decade team, 100th anniversary All-Time team, 331 receptions, 5,236 receiving yards, um, 38 receiving touchdowns in his career. Pro Football Hall of Famer. There you go. There you go, Aaron. Nice. All right, next up is Bill. 
Bill with box eight. Box eight, pack eight. All right, this Bill H, different from Augustus Bill H, in case you guys are wondering at home, for the viewers at home. PSA DNA, and it's, whoa, dual autograph, John Elway, and is that Christian's dad? That's got to be Ed McCaffrey, right? Number 87? He was 87. Yeah, it's got to be Ed McCaffrey. It looks like his... It is Ed, right, Sean? Yeah, it is. Confirmed. Wow. Back-to-back -back champions. Those were some dark... For me, as a Raiders fan, those were some dark days. Dark days for the Raiders for a while. PSA DNA. Great duel. I can respect these two guys, though. Dual autograph. Nice hit. Back-to-back -back champions. All right, and there you go, Bill. All right, next we have, so we're skipping Hans. We're going to save yours till the end. And John McCall with six. And then John McClay with nine. Nice. Here's six. Nine after that. Two L's. Order 66. All right, there is the PSA DNA card here, and we've got we've got this hockey player here. Everyone knows this guy, right? Old Blackhawks legend. Wait, is this Hull? This is Bobby Hull wore number 16 for the first three years of his career before he changed number nine. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think Bobby Hull. It's got to be. Oh, it's kind of hard to see like the the H right here. Blackhawks, right? It's got to be Bobby Hull. Yeah. There you go. He wore 16 for the first three years of his career before switching to number nine, his famous number nine. All right, there you go. Old Bob Hull. There you go, John. I've heard of that guy. Just wasn't familiar with his auto. All right. Another John, Jonathan McClay with nine. McCall and McClay. All right, Mr. McClay, good luck. Let's see what we got for you. Beckett Certificate of Authenticity this time. And we've got Oakland 8, Tony LaRusse. Come, Tony, feel free to make use of the canvas, sir. Could use me. Sign a little bit bigger. There's a Beckett sticker right over there. Tony LaRusse. All right, right, yeah. So there's there's some allegations of some cheating there. We've we've heard allegedly. All right, so we've got Hans with seven, twelve, ten. Seven, twelve, ten. One, two, eleven. One, two, eleven, and three. 
Where's what about five? Oh, Troy. I forgot about Troy. Troy, you have five. I was like, that, there's an extra one sitting here. Can't forget Troy and his last spot Mojo Star next to his name. All right, good luck, Troy. Uh, Chance, you can shoot us an email on uh, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Jazbeescasebreaks at gmail.com, and someone will, one of our team members will be able to take a look at that at some point tonight. All right, another PSA DNA. Some... NBA, uh, NBA stuff? No, why does it have NBA? Oh, I guess these are just generic stamps for all the licenses. But there you go. You've got you've got old old Dodger, <laughs> old Brooklyn Dodger. This guy. Gil Hodges is the guy that everyone says. There you go. Edwin Donald Snyder, right there. He's going. He's going full name on that. He is obviously he is in the Hall of Fame. This is Hall of Fame edition. It's Gil Hodges. That's always the guy that people talk about that should be in the Hall of Fame but is not yet. There you go, Troy. Just a tiny bit past my my generation on that for Snyder. All right, now, Hans, we can do the rest of yours. No, no who am I on these, just because this product actually doesn't have, um, like, the names kind of stickered on here. All right, so, Hans, you have the rest. And I'm going to use this box right here to put all the Hans hits. This is random pack break number two. All right. Beckett sticker, we've got. This old Seahawk defensive lineman here. Offensive lineman? Seahawks, number 96. Is that Cortez Kennedy? I think so. Yeah, Cortez Kennedy, who's no longer with us. Passed away in May 23rd, 2017. Defensive tackle, played his entire 11 seasons and career with the Seattle Seahawks. Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2012. Got a JSA on this one. Looks like baseball player. We've got Juan Marichal. There's the JSA sticker right there. It's kind of a cool, cool photo there. Sorry, there's some glare from our studio lights, but you don't get the idea. Another PSA DNA card here, and we've got Elgin Baylor. Nice. I think that's one of the alternate uniforms for the Lakers these days, but it's a nice shot against against the uh, the dastardly Celtics. Irving turns it over. 
Yeah, it's a great it's a great photo. You were listed at six seven your whole life. I'm so much with the dude. Let me say this. I'm six six A pretty underrated Laker as far as as far as Laker history goes. Alright. Another PSA DNA we have. Uh that's gotta be Paul Kraus, right? Yeah, I think it's easy that's easy to read. That looks like Kraus. Viking, Hall of Famer in nineteen ninety eight. Is he still with us? He's still with us. 77 years old. Gifted with great fame, a frame, speed, and range. Established himself as a defensive force against opposing wide receivers. Led the league with 12 interceptions as a rookie before going on to set the NFL career interceptions record with 81, which he picked off from 45 different quarterbacks. Wow. There you go. Uh, the NFL sticker right there, the PSA DNA. There's his autograph, good looking auto. All right. Next one for Hans. I think I saw one more case of this in the back, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're interested in these, check them out. We've got Tim Brown. He's got a nice auto. Finally in the Hall of Fame. I think there's a bit of a wide receiver backlog anyway, but I want to say one of one of my favorite Raiders. All right, a couple more to go for you, Hans. Good luck. So far, so good, I want to say. No card in the back, but we've got... Scotty Pippen's auto right there. Nice. That's from the Panini VIP party. That's a great bit of photography there, too. And the final one for Hans. A couple of the guys thought it was just for a second. Thought it was, thought it was Jordan. And we got one that's JSA right here. And the final one is going to be. Is going to be. My guess is. It, it, My guess is Ralph Kiner. That's what I think. I'm looking at Pirates. I see Kiner, I think. Photo looks to be about that, that era. It's got to be, right? It is indeed. Confirmed by the boss man, Ralph Kiner who uh, passed away in 2014, aged 91 years old. Man. That is great. At the time of his death, baseball writer Marty Noble named Kiner one of baseball's genuine and most charming gentlemen. There you have it. Hall of Fame on the 13th ballot, inducted in 1975 with 75.41% of the vote. He got in. He's in. He's a Hall of Famer. Immortality for the rest for his family and for him for the rest of his days. There you have it, boys and girls. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We will see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.